Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. The people that I hang with make progressions in a year. Last year, bro, I was working off an of iPhone 7, bro, doing YouTube videos. This year, I got a camera, two backdrops, you know what I'm saying, big, fluffy, a fucking office chair, nice TV. I ain't had that shit, but it's progression and growing what you're doing. But if you still look the same, the only thing you got is a $32 ball cap, bro, come on, bro. Where your OT at? Bro, there's other shit going on out here too where niggas is not just keeping it real. Like the OG Bobby Billion shit. Yeah, I was gonna ask about that. You know, I, I saw it, and, you know, it, it got online. I feel like I don't know who nicked the messages or how it ended up online, but I did see like there was a debate between uh, Bob, Bobby Billions and uh, Rainwater in regards still to the outside song. Bobby song was making friction around Dallas. Let's get that understood. The song was, it probably wasn't known to us because we not in the Dallas market. But it, 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 his songs were being played or being streamed 40,000 times. Like with DZ, with people not knowing about the Texas manager, DZ went viral because that nigga went downtown and went and was the only one that was giving them laws the motherfucking business, bro. The each video was like that nigga told one lot of laws about here. He told one law nigga, I fucking I fucking shake your head with a butter knife. That nigga is fuck DZ is fucking funny, bro. That nigga when I talk about funny, that nigga will have your fucking stomach hurting, bro. That nigga is funny. Then he had the other motherfucker thing. That nigga told what copy he wanna see the nigga at Carol's. If I catch you at Carol's, we gonna squabble. And then you had the other video where they went on and pepper sprayed his ass, bro. And this shit was just too funny. But DZ shared George Floyd video, you know what I'm saying? And DZ shit got numbers. But this before people knew about Mo 3 being on the song. Any of that shit. So the song was already making friction. But with OG Bobby, whatever Bobby, can't kind of, I don't know what make you be an OG. We just had that conversation. But Bobby, he know he needed Mo3 though. For the cosign. Mo3 cosign pushed the song where it needed to go. The song was already making friction, but he know he needed he knew that three cosign would really got that song out there. Cause around about this time last year, nobody was jacking for him in our city. Nobody was jamming him like that in our city, and they show wasn't, and they show wasn't, and they show wasn't playing outside his version on the radio, or anywhere in the club in Houston. This is facts. So like, it's not nothing personal, but in the Dallas market, even the that even Mo Three DJ was fucking with outside. But allegedly, Bobby didn't even fucking know Mo Three. Never met Mo Three before in his life. So how can you get mad at a nigga that never met a nigga in his life to owe you some type of loyalty, bro? But pay homage to the point of Mo3 being who Mo3 is because, not trying to be funny, you cannot mention Dallas, Texas without mentioning Mo3. I don't give a fuck how much you hate him, hate the little street sex. He wasn't a well-liked person. They ain't like him, you know what I'm saying? You know, if haters point of view, will always overshine what the real point of view and the real objective is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they both needed each other. They were both brothers that knew he saw the potential in the song. And it's like, he made a good song. Mo3 saw the potential in the song, regardless. And all in all, Mo3 said, he said, fuck that song, Mo3 is dead, fam. We don't know what the fuck Mo3 said about outside, cause we will never know. That's the biggest mystery. So we can't say he said fuck that song because if he said fuck that song, why he was on the shop was singing his heart out to that song? Why did he use that chorus, bro? Stop playing, bro. You did on, on, on that fucking leaking that message. Come on, you talking about raindrop, bro. 
You talk about Ranger, bro. He a manager, bro. He's a PM, bro. The manager, the manager says that he is, he's a PM, bro. He's an assistant. That's what he is. He ain't no motherfucking super producer. Get a other nigga that's gonna be better than Mark Three. Since they telling since since they telling OG Billions to get another hit, now you get another artist that's gonna be bigger than Mark Three. And I ain't shitting on now, nigga. I ain't shitting on now, nigga. That's off his count, bro. Because y'all keep doing y'all thing, but y'all just don't got the caliber of Mark Three. Cause if y'all did. Y'all be hitting them dominoes just like Mo 3 or even higher. It shouldn't have to take 15, 15 songs to make that one song.